Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to show you how to import external data in Excel 2007. It's in response to a letter that I received from a viewer. The viewer is asking for my help. Dear Danny, I'm trying to learn how to import dates, text, and numbers from another program into Excel. Can you help me? Now specifically the reader was saying I'm using Corel products and the spreadsheet in the Corel suite is Quattro Pro. It really doesn't matter what program you're using, following these steps in the lesson will help you to get information from any program into Excel. First, we want to make sure that we use the tools for getting external data. Resist, resist, resist going to the File menu or to the Office button and saying Open. Rather, we want to use the tools that are on the Data tab of the ribbon in Excel 2007 or the Data menu in Excel 2003. So we're going to get external data. All right, let's come over here into a blank worksheet and let's Data tab of the ribbon get external data from text. Notice the three file extensions, PRN, TXT, and CSV. These are common file extensions. If you save any document in any one of these three, you will have success importing it into any program. PRN stands for a print file, TXT stands for a plain text file, and CSV stands for comma separated values. These are three common file formats that will be successful. So let's select a TXT file and import it. First, we get a preview of the information. And where do we want to start importing it from? Well, we have our field headers up in row one. Let's take the second step in the wizard. Here's the real key step, choosing the delimiter. In this case, clearly it's not the space bar as the delimiter. So let's uncheck that and choose the tab delimiter. So you notice these vertical lines that Excel has drawn in this wizard that clearly identifies the tab as the delimiter. Here are the fields that we want to import into Excel. Click Next. General format will work fine in this example. It recognizes text and numbers. And let's finish it off. Where do we want to import our information to? Well, I started with cell A1, so let's import it into cell A1. There you go. It works out beautifully. Now let's switch over here to Word for a second. Here is a sample file which is almost ready to be saved for import. Notice how the columns are clearly separated as tabs. Now this started out as a table, so you see how it was clearly separated. But remember, don't save it as a document file. What we want to do is come over into the Office button, choose Save As, and then choose the format that we want. So from the drop-down menu, you can see all your different types of files. Remember PRN, TXT, or CSV will work great. So in this case I'm not going to save it. Rather I'm going to come over here and take a look at another Word document. So this document is in a table. That won't work. I must separate it out of a table. So in Word what I want to do is come over here onto the Table Tools and choose Layout and I want to convert this into text. I want to use tab as the delimiter. Click OK. Now again, remember before I finish this, I must save it with a different extension. So Office button, Save As. What I want to do is I want to save it in another format. The format that I want to save it in is not as a document. I want to save it as a TXT file. So Word table for demonstration, TXT will work fine click Save, and now let's make sure that we close it. So it's important that you close the file. I'm going to close this file, come back over here into Excel. At this uh, cell, I want to come over to Data tab on the ribbon, get external data from text, and this is the file that I want to bring in. Import, and again, preview of the information. I'm going to start importing at row 1, click Next not space, it's tab. Remember how we save that table in tab format? Click Next. Now here's your gotcha step. You notice over here that unlike January, February, March, in the previous example, here I have specific dates. So make sure that down here you have the proper date format for bringing that information in. The numbers are fine in general format. I'll bring it into this cell. Click OK. There you go. 
All right, now let's import information from another program, from Microsoft Access, which is a relational database. Data tab on the ribbon, get external data from Access. All right, where are we going to find it? I'm going to find it over here, and now what I want to do is choose the table in that database and then choose how do I want to bring it in. I want to bring it in as a table and it comes in as an Excel 2007 table with filters and formatting. Now finally before we end this lesson here is an Excel file and I'm going to show you how to save it. First I'm going to move it out of this worksheet. So what I want to do, do is right mouse click on the tab and I want to say move or copy. I want to create a copy and I'm going to move it to a new book. Click OK. So now if I want to save this in a format other than Excel, off this button, save as, and then choose the extension. In this case I want to choose it as a text file. And now I'll be able to clearly, easily import it or export it and have it be read in any program. So there, for my reader, you've learned how to take information from your present program and import it successfully into Excel. Follow the steps, go up to the Data tab, and choose Get External Data from either text or from Access, as I demonstrated in this lesson. And I'll see you in the next lesson.